series of women portraits done uh, around 1903, 1904. And you see, it is much more than a portrait. Uh, well, it's like the paint, the possibility of making a portrait for taking the freedom, for, for pattern painting, for uh, 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 well, uh, Free ornament, which which uh, where, where colors uh, uh, and forms uh, have uh, uh, quite a lot of autonomy. And uh, but I would also like to uh, tell a little bit about uh, who this woman was, because she was something like a, a, well, she did bring together uh, these people of the high culture. And uh, these young artists who who were so uh, uh, who, who were so chic and elegant and fashionable, uh, Emily Ferge, uh, whom uh, you know, she was something like uh, Clint's partner for 20, 30 years uh, in various kinds of uh, types of relation, but uh, and, uh, she was oh, she was a businesswoman. So, uh, and she had a, a fashion uh, salon, and uh, so she was something like a trendsetter. She didn't know exactly what was new in, in, in Paris. She did travel. So in, in her uh, boutique, or which was uh, one of the first commissions for the Wiener Werkstatt, so Hoffmann designs, and when you walk on on the end uh, there, you see a white couple, a large couple from a Belgian collection. This was uh, one of the original furniture of uh, uh, boutique, and uh, you see here also some photographs uh, where Emily Flöge and Gustav Klink wear very free clothes, you know, reform dresses. They didn't care for conventions. Here's the other famous painting from the exhibition uh, by Gustav Klimt. And it's um, just trying to find her name here. Just zoom in a bit. Fritza Riedler. 